on YouTube. Uh, just getting back from the road trip and the long haul. We're on day 62. And, uh, yeah, just got back, um, especially since, uh, not just with Horde Night coming up, but, you know, we got a little bit of a, uh, uh, Crush Candy was one to take a look at my base, uh, there are one some inspiration for designs, and, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're back here, uh, haven't checked up on the, on the crafting and everything, um, I haven't unloaded my chest at all, but, uh, we'll just, yes it is, uh, and, you know, we're planning on doing, uh, you know, make sure I get some, Okay, so YouTube, don't mind me explaining this for for Crush Candy, but uh, so the reason why this is built the way it is, I just wanted to do something bigger and and uh, have it be really sturdy. Uh, I haven't done the full installations on the second half, but these hatches I wanted to keep just so I keep myself uh, you know, back enough to from uh, getting smacked by zombies. The these poles actually keep dogs out, like uh, the bottom poles do. And I just have this as a, I have the top layer of poles just as a, uh, as a second, you know, just a second barrier for zombies to beat through. It just provides it more um, sturdiness and, and also in the game's mind, because these are stacked on top of each other. These are, this is, the base is actually completely supported. So basically, Unless a uh, a massive explosion occurs here, that like, takes out all the takes out all the ground, zombies ain't bringing this down. Like it's uh, I just wanted to build it this way, and you know I just wanted to do something a little bit more grand, and uh, it, that's why it's built the way it is. It, one of those I just want I want this to be stout and sturdy, and you know I like to make I like to go overkill on stuff. But yeah, so, planning on doing some more base upgrades, guys, but before we kind of kick, kick that off, um, you know, we're, we're planning on doing, uh, you know, I want to go make a trim up to Trigger Rack, so let me prepare for that, and that will meet your Trigger to see what he's got. Alrighty, YouTube, we are rolling up on Trigger Rex now, a couple hours later. Had a little bit of uh, stuff to organize. Also, uh, Crush Candy was asking me some questions. I was trying to that was explained. So I apologize for that. You know, I try to be <laughs> tied a little bit. It's like you, know, they need a little bit of DJ to you know, just kind of, which I'm much happy to do. So uh, okay, direct. Do you have anything good for me? Anything? Come here. Put away your weapon unless you'd like to die in my store. Uh, let's just check his journal stock here. I do have some stuff to sell, but not that much, too. Um, you don't got much in terms of stuff for me in your journal stuff. Wait a minute, what'd you have? Engine, pistol grip, and all that stuff. No, thank you. You do have auger parts, which I could turn into a nice, uh, which I could make a, a, you know, just have a complete rocket launcher with. Not too bad. Um, unfortunately, no, no AK stuff. But, I mean, you can take that off my hands. And we'll, I'll just buy that off you for, because uh, even though they're not the greatest, I do have a decent engine. And, well, I guess within two days now, we have, Thanks, buddy. we have the, uh, we have the chainsaw parts and we have the, uh, what do you call it, the, well, we got the stuff for a chainsaw and, and the stuff for an auger. So, um, I'm 
thing is, I think I can get a maxed out auger blade, too. Because, uh, and I could even make the chainsaw blade a higher level. Uh, so. What, and you may be wondering why I might, why I have, oh, why I say, like, I'd be able to make the chainsaw blade a uh, higher level. You can actually re, you can actually, uh, when you unlock the chainsaw recipe in this game, you get a, um, a good, you get a good old, uh, you get the recipe to remake the, to, uh, for a chainsaw blade. So, but it's like, you can't just make a fresh chainsaw blade. You actually need a, a new, like, you actually need one to do the crafting recipe. So, let's just kind of go into this, into this a little, really quick. So, grab some steel here, and we will do the little bit here of, so, I got my chainsaw blade, and I got my stuff there, so, resources, we got the, so, you got the, it requires one chainsaw blade, a repair kit, and two forged steel, so, we can remake that, and I know I can make it better because my miscellaneous crafting is actually maxed out. And see, took that from a 308 to a level 500 chainsaw blade. And I was saying I can actually max out my auger blade, which is a, a really nice one. Let's just take, because I have the level 589, but I also have this 295 blade that's been sitting in here. So. If we just do the same thing, and some people will be like, you might be asking, like, why that is the case, and my my best idea is that I think it's because that I think it, you're basically just resharpening the blade. So we got a level 500 blade, thanks some miscellaneous crafting, and there we go. I had a 589, now I got a level 600 blade, and and what I actually have to do now is make what I can actually do is I can make a make a couple make some handlebars which I I think I need like five uh, handlebars each to make a couple level 600s thanks to the combining so um let's actually do that looking at the handlebars we need Duct tape, leather, mechanical parts, and short iron pipes. So, I think I should have all that in my chest here. It's a that's one of the cool things you can do with this. Oh, you know, with you know, it's really cool. You can actually kind of just like I said, I call it resharpening the blade. You know, just just you, because know. to me that makes the most sense. Like you're just kind of resharpening it, and but it's like I don't know how that. Would, turn to a higher quality auger. I needed a mechanic, some mechanical parts, which I have plenty of. I need short iron pipes. Ironically enough, I don't think I have that, but let me gather resources. I also really need to remake some, need to make some extra concrete. So give me a little bit and I will show you the Pro, you know, I'll show you the result of our auger and chainsaw. Perfect. Well, YouTube, uh, while I was procuring stuff for uh, the uh, auger and chainsaw, I just heard a screamer go off and... Oh, would you look at that? Another screamer's gone off. We'll come up, so... We'll just work on these zombies real quick. Arlene's gone. Wait. Sorry. You sick. Uh, Jewoodles, Davey. Of, of that zombie. I call her Penny, but... We'll just uh, take out the zombie bear real quick. He ain't that big of a deal. Just got to stop There we go. 
Zombie bear is gone. We'll just carve him up for more resources real quick. He... Kind of one of those, it's like, I know um, stuff like a zombie bear and bear can be really intending early on people, but it's like, yo. Know, really, if you kind of get used to him, it's like, you're, you'll be fine. Like, like if you kind of... Like, if you got a good supply of arrows, you can take him out. There's another penny gone, and... Come here. We'll just, uh, pop him really quick. There we go. Cop is done. Let's just see what he's got. That's some 762s. I'll take it. If I'm not using it right now, I'll gladly take it. There's the second Screamer. Ah, uh, she'll get her scream off. I level of her magnum skills a little bit. There we go. Screamer's getting done. Handguns is now level. Is now level four. And come here, spider. Nice shot on him. Love the 44 magnum. Oop. Ah, great. My my accuracy. You can see that the Magnum is just an absolute head popper. Oops. Dark Tree JGO just kind of getting me a little bit, but. We're, you know, we're eliminating everybody with the Magnum. And. There we go. Marla is gone, and. We'll, we'll grab the Hornet really quick. Actually, need to use the iron sights. Come here. So the iron sights will cooperate. There we go. We got the uh, we got the hornet down, and um, we'll just toss his bones so, because I want the I want this guy's honey. Hi, hey. You know, really can't complain. Like, pretty high if you can take him out, so. Gotta love the power of the Magnum. And, you know, our crops are ready for harvesting, but we'll take care of we'll, Let's just do this one step at a time, so. Um, we got. I was gonna grab the. The auger part. The chainsaw parts. So, let's just take a look at. Just to see what a. You know, like, a level 600 does for, like, an auger and, and, uh, you know, like, with, uh, low quality. See, a 460 auger, that's really good stuff there. You know, they're dragging up the, the quality of the parts and just to make sure on the AK. Yep, still, uh, still waiting on, uh, you know, a magazine if I, if I ever find it, but we'll just take a look at the, uh, no, not not another auger. We need a chainsaw. That's what I'm thinking of. Level 500 chainsaw blade, and then a still level 444. You know, not not really that bad. It's we'll just toss that real quick, and we'll just see how much this repairs it up to. Ah, uh, 97%, basically all the way there. But it's cool to at least see some power tools. I don't. I don't know if I'll use them too much, but just kind of cool to have those as, like, just have those around, like, wouldn't really even consider selling them, because, like, they're only 3000 a piece, and it's, like, they're they're rare stuff. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd show that to you folks on YouTube. Uh, I was about ready to get concrete started again for, for making materials, you know, just, but... We'll just grab that, and, you know, we just gotta keep going with this. Um, still working on, had to resume making clay and all that stuff, so. We'll do 409 concrete in there, and then we'll do another 409 in there, and hoping that, and I almost, I almost forgot that we in the last episode, I did finally get, you know, the nail gun, which is excellent to see. And we got a... 
So, and I believe I still have a couple more nail gun parts hiding in the in the mini bike. Let's just I know I have some stuff in here. Grab all that and but it's just like really excited to see a nail gun finally come to fruition. The quality doesn't the quality to me doesn't matter that much. It's just you know one just, just finally having it for its upgrade speeds. So let's disassemble this, and I think this should get a pretty nice quality boost in terms of, like, we'll see, a, we'll have a blue nail gun, so. Okay, let's just see the result of this. Besides, um, uh, while I'm still thinking about it, let's get steel going. That's all the clay we have in there at the moment. We got, you know, like 265 of this going. So we'll be having plenty of that already. And I almost forgot to take take you apart, my beloved. Don't don't drop the darn thing. And the fun thing is, if I really felt like it, I could even use this as a as a as a race option for. You know, could shoot could shoot nails at zombies for. I think I even have some in my inventory, like somewhere in the chest. But uh, again, <laughs> that just why I I don't know why I just used a nail kit or uh, repair kit on that. But hey, <laughs> it's not that expensive to do. So three fifty eight on you. And 364 on the frame, and then we got the receiver, which will go to... Actually, let's not do that. We'll do level 400, and then 407, a 391. Well, that just got repaired, basically, so... Level 410, so we're not looking bad at all. Not looking bad at all. The nail gun goes up to a level 406. I can keep in mind if you didn't see the last episode, it's uh, I found this out of a, out of a working stuff box, so I'm overjoyed to have it. And let's just check to see how that concrete's coming along. Yeah, we'll pull that out really quick, and then we will. And then, let's see, I don't know if this is enough to completely finish it off, but let's see how much this actually does. Look at that, just look at that beautiful, that beautiful speed of you know, repairs. I, I need some iron to repair that bar. I want to make sure this is as strong as possible before we go completely bananas on it. Um, there we go, get the iron, and we will, it's like, I just like, you know, show you guys progress, so, there we go. Even makes repairing, you know, a lot faster, but, yeah, so happy to see this thing, just, and, voila. Oh, we're already out of concrete again, but... Oop! Well, XL upgrade a little bit of steel. That's the one downside to the nail gun. Sometimes you accidentally upgrade something you don't want to upgrade, <laughs> but... Oh... Well, that... I forgot that I had steel, so... Um... We'll, we'll let that just completely craft up. Get a little bit more. Uh, not you, but we just want a little bit more concrete mix, and this should be like the full concretization of the last little phase of it. And let's see. Come on, please. There we go. That is the last of the concrete. Now finally upgraded. So. I think this was a screamer, so just check you out. And a little bit thirsty, and 
yeah, it, you know, that's relieving to see, like, this whole, this whole base is just finally done up in steel and, well, not steel, but concrete. Reinforced concrete and, you know, we'll, we'll just, um, harvest up all the crops here and while I'm doing this, I'm gonna, gonna just, uh, like, I'm gonna do this and also kind of wait for resources to, uh, to, uh, come out and I will uh, let you know, uh, once it's about night time, hey, YouTube. Well, YouTube, uh, it's coming up on night time now. It's, uh, I'm doing, I'm starting to do the sealification of the, of the base here, you know, going from the ground up just to, we are going to have a very sturdy base here, so, and, you know, I've already done like, you know, like 50 blocks worth of stuff here, so that's going to be the last of the steel for now. I'm I'm working on making even more, though. Absolutely just working on just cranking it all out, like uh, the forges are going to be busy for a little while, so another 90 out of you, and 91 out of you. There's still more coming, coming through, and you got to have the Gotta have the, gotta let the good times roll and have the, you know, we are just cooking through steel. I still have yet to replant my cross, but I've just been kind of cleaning up bodies, you know, just, and also try to start the steel up, but I'm gonna end this episode here, so if you enjoy the episode and you made this far, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe down below, uh, it helps the channel all out uh, a lot for me, and you know, we're on the way to 100 subscribers, so would appreciate it a bunch. Have a great day, and take care.